Leopard 2 PL is a main battle tank used by the Polish Armed Forces and is a modernized version of the older Leopard 2A4 tank. Leopard 2 PL upgrade is broadly similar to the Rain Natal Revolution MBT. It has got improved armor protection, improved gun, I improved sights and some other systems. However, despite all improvements, the Polish Leopard 2 PL is not as capable as the upgraded Leopard 2A7 upgraded by Cross Maffei Wegman, which entered service with the German army in 2014. The Leopard 2 PL loses to Leopard 2A7 in the key areas of protection, firepower, accuracy, and onboard electronic systems. Polish Leopard 2 PL has improved armor protection and advanced modular armor protection composite armor kit developed by the IBD Dusebroff Company of Germany was fitted to the turret. This armor is a part of Rain Metal Revolution upgrade package. It uses new nano ceramics materials and modern titanium and steel alloys. This armor provides higher level of protection against wide range of threats. A Parmer turret of the Leopard 2 PL offers higher protection than turret of the Leopard 2A5, however it cannot match protection level of the Leopard 2A7. The armor kit is modular, so damaged armor modules can be replaced in field conditions. It is planned that the advanced modular armor protection armor modules will be produced in Poland under license. The Leopard 2 PL MBT is only slightly heavier than its predecessor. It weights 60 tons, comparing with 56, 6 tons of the original Leopard 2 A4. Around 3 tons of add-on armor were added to the turret front and sides. However, no armor was added to the hull in order to keep the weight within the 60 tons limit, which was set by the Polish army. Some sources report that armor was also added to the hull floor in order to improve protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. Otherwise hull armor was not improved in any way. Furthermore Polish Leopard 2A4 tanks have hulls made in the early 1980s. It seems that these hulls will not withstand modern APST's ammunition. Crew members of the Leopard 2 PL are seated on new shockproof seats. The tank is also fitted with more efficient automatic fire suppression system. The Leopard 2 PL tank retains a 120mm L44 smoothbore gun of its predecessor. However, the gun was modified by Rain Metal to be compatible with newly developed high pressure ammunition, such as programmable DM11 high explosive air burst ammunition and high power DM53 and DM63 armor piercing rounds. The programmable rounds enable to engage targets behind cover and within buildings. These multi-purpose DM-11 rounds can be also used against enemy troops, armored vehicles and low-flying helicopters. The gun can also fire any other standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition. The gun is loaded manually by the loader. A total of 42 rounds are carried inside the tank. 15 rounds are stored in the turret bustle and are ready to use. Remaining rounds are stored inside the hull. The turret bustle is separated from the crew compartment and has a blowout panels. Hydraulic drives of the turret were replaced with electric drives. Such upgrade significantly improves post-penetration survivability, as the hydraulic drives contain flammable liquid. The Leopard 2 PL has improved sights and fire control system. The commander uses panoramic sight, which is fitted with a Polish-made thermal imager and includes a laser rangefinder. Commander's station is equipped with a number of digital screens that display different information. The driver received a new night vision sight for driving at night and a rear vision camera, which makes driving backwards much easier. Despite all improvements communication systems of the Leopard 2 PL remain unchanged, this tank also lacks battlefield management system. It looks like the Leopard 2 PL has got a hunter-killer engagement capability, which is present on all modern main battle tanks. The commander uses his panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such target engagement method allows to acquire and engage targets faster.
its secondary armament consists of a coaxial 7, 62mm machine gun. There is another 7, 62mm machine gun mounted on top of the roof. This main battle tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The Leopard 2PL retains the engine of its predecessor. It is powered by an MTUMB 873 KOF 501 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. This tank is also fitted with Stair Auxiliary Power Unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. The same APU is used on the Leopard 2A7. Cross-country performance is similar to that of its predecessor. This tank can be fitted with a deep wading kit and forge shallow rivers lakes and other water obstacles up to 4 meter deep. Thank you for watching our video, hopefully it will add to your insight about tanks.